The history of Hahira, Georgia, dates back to the early 1800s. The town was originally known as Little Ogeechee, but in 1888 it was renamed Hahira after a local cotton plantation. The plantation was named after a West African village, Harari, which was described to the plantation owner by an English traveler. The early history of Hahira is closely tied to the agricultural development of Londis County. The first settlers in the area were primarily farmers, and the town's early economy was based on the production of cotton, corn, and other crops. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Hahira also became a center for the railroad industry. The Georgia Southern and Florida Railway was completed in 1885, and Hahira became a station on the route. The railroad made it easier to transport goods and people to and from Hahira, and the town's economy grew as a result. In 1904, a bank was opened in Hahira, followed by a newspaper in 1906. Prior to 1904, there was one practicing doctor in the town during the 1890s. As a predominantly agricultural area, Hahira residents largely relied on their own vegetable gardens, raised hogs for meat, and owned milk cows. Hahira continued to grow and develop in the early 20th century. In 1926, a cigarette factory was built in town. The factory was a major employer in Hahira for many years, and it helped to boost the town's economy. During World War II, Hahira was home to a number of military installations. The town's population increased significantly during the war, and the town's economy boomed. After the war, Hahira continued to grow and develop. In the 1950s, the town's first shopping center was built. In the 1960s, Hahira's first high school was built. In the 1970s, Hahira's first hospital was built. Today, Hahira is a thriving community with a diversified economy. The town is home to a number of businesses and industries, including agriculture, manufacturing, and retail. Hahira is also a popular destination for retirees and families.